Hi, I'm Pete with F Body Warehouse, and today what we're going to do is we're going to show you in a little bit of depth um, the installation process on the 10 piece um, triangle seatbelt guides. Now, what these kits that we offer at F Body Warehouse consist of is you're going to get a left and a right seatbelt guide base, a left and a right triangle, which is the strap retainer, and then the mounting hardware kit, which is going to consist of four base screws and then two smaller chrome uh, triangle base screws. What we're working on today, we're working on a 1980 Trans Am that we've been putting together. So we're going to be installing this on the car. Let's take you over and check the car out. So at some point on the seats that we're using in this car, someone had put new replacement covers. And when you do that, what you're going to see is right in this general area, is GM had a uh, metal mounting brace that went to the back of the bun and came up or to the back of the seat frame and then came up and wrapped the bun. What you do is you're going to take a pick um, type tool and you're going to locate those little holes with your finger and then you'll just puncture them. What that's going to allow to happen is for you to then run your screws in like so. Now we're going to go ahead we're going to put our mounting block in first and then we'll put our screws in. The mounting blocks that we're using, these are OER reproduction units. So you're going to get the one marked left. You're going to set it into place. And I always just get it started just to turn. And then you're going to get your lower one lined up. And you go ahead and tighten these all the way down. All right, now that we've gotten those tightened down onto the tops of the seats, what we have to do is install our triangle. And the triangle guide should aim forward like so. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull your shoulder harness forward, and you want to make sure that it's turned properly so when it comes over your shoulder that the buckle will sit properly. So in that case we're going to want ours sit like that. The next thing that's important to do, which everyone forgets and I've done myself, is to remember to feed the seatbelt through before you put it onto the car. like so. So now you have the seat belt fed through the triangle and the triangle will be ready to pop onto the car. You'll notice on the bottom of the triangle that you have two little pop tension clips and then you've got a large hole in the base. You're going to take that and you'll feed the one side through and you can turn it, a lot of guys will turn it sideways and then twist it in. And what that does, you see how one side popped in but not the other? That will help to make it go in securely on both sides. Like so. Now as we tighten it down, it will draw it even tighter. So now you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to insert this small chrome screw into that top hole there. Now you run this screw in and you're going to tighten it down all the way and what it'll do is it's going to draw that triangle down flush. They do make a reproduction triangle currently on the market that comes molded in color but it doesn't use that set screw. We've always learned that GM uses a set screw. Some guys say in not all instances they did. I've always seen it with the set screw here, that little accent screw and on earlier models this was a plastic clip and that's why we offer these units which are a sturdy plastic and we reset them to the various GM colors. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to do the other side. 
Even if you're removing your old seatbelt triangle sets, as you can see we got this one intact now, we have our screws all in. Um, even if you're removing your old sets, this isn't going to take long. This is going to take you the ballpark of 10 to 15 minutes at most at home. Something you can do yourself in the driveway. Like we said earlier, make sure your buckle is always in front of the triangle and loop through the triangle prior to installing the triangle onto the mounting block. We as always offer all of these products at fbodywarehouse.com and welcome you to check out all of our other YouTube videos. We have well over a hundred. It's going to show you how to work on one of these cars at home. This car here is just one step closer to completion. This was a parts car a year ago. This will be a show car by the end of the year. You can do it all at home. We're glad to help you do it.